So mm-hmm. what Absolutely. is it that made you want to make this, take this leap into doing your own thing? Uh, you know, you know, of course this, uh, well, I think, I think we're all going to, you know, we're getting older. We're all going to be directed to, towards these paths. I mean, it's for the better. Um, I've always, I could always say that I've wanted to start a company, but fully knowing, I mean, absolutely fully knowing that it's one of the hardest things you're ever going to do in your life, especially depending on how much you, effort you decide to commit. It's going to be stressful. It's going to be taxing. It's, it's expensive. I know all those things. And so I kind of just stayed away and tried to get really good at what I was doing. Um, I never thought that I was going to be better than my boss. You know, maybe I, 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 you know, I can, I can paint really well, you know, and I can do this step really well. I mean, I wanted to be really good at what I did um, before anything else. And I never wanted to show my boss how good I could be by running a company. I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to work together. I'd rather work together with people and working together with this employer. I I wanted to be there for people because all of those companies there, you know, there's all these mid-sized companies over here, you know, 2008 hit, we all broke up. Well, we all, you know, we got laid off and different people kept working, but everyone started new companies. Everybody started new companies. So it was all one man company here, a one man company over there, a one man company over there with two guys and I have have the friend. So it was all these one man companies. And I was like, I, I don't need to do that. If I can build um, my demand, I should be in demand because everybody had companies and painters were in demand. Now, 10 years ago, five years ago, you name it, people didn't want to, they didn't want to, they, they pretended that you weren't in such high demand and, you know, try to keep your wages low. You know, that's, that's the goal for the company. Keep them, keep them down a little bit as long as possible. But I always told myself, I'm going to be in demand. I should be in demand. Everyone's, everyone's hiring. Everybody keeps telling me how they're looking for somebody with a license, how they're looking for somebody to show up on time how they're looking for someone who could just spray, who, who could just mask without messing up, who could just fill holes right. Well, like, hey, I, I checked off like 30 things off that list right there, and you're still saying I'm only worth this much money? I mean, I can do all these things and excel at it really well, you know, really well, and I could lead your crew and teach you a couple things. And so, you know, how much are you willing to pay me? 19 an hour? I'm sorry? I'm sorry. No, I can't take the job, you know. So, 